graffiti or art? That's the question people in one South Hill neighborhood are asking after a massive mural showed up on the front of a front yard fence. As far as the city is concerned, a wall at 14th and Lincoln is legal, constitutionally protected freedom of expression on private property. But some neighbors say it just doesn't fit, and some have already filed complaints with the city. KXLY4's McKay Allen reports. Graffiti? Looks like the side of a railway car. Or art? I have a problem with kids that write their names on the walls. Impress me. Do something incredible with art. And like it or not, this is incredible. 30 feet long, 6 feet high, all done with spray paint. There's only eight different colors of spray paint here. That's all he uses, but he blends them together to get the colors and shades he wants to put on the fence. It is naturally inherent in us to create, to paint on walls, to leave our mark. And that's what the owner of this South Hill home wanted Tim Piper to do, leave his mark. And the owner asked me, hey, offend, do what you need to do, go ahead and create. So create he did, sort of a history of graffiti. From the caveman up through... Uh, the Egyptians to the Renaissance to new, new graffiti, I guess it would be called. I don't know. American graffiti, maybe. Other things, too. A Mad Hatter, a garden, and a woman spray painting. Piper hopes his 170-square-foot mural sends a message to spray paint coating teams. Writing the name, I don't know if that's so impressive to me. Do something pretty with it. And he hopes the neighbors like it. It's beautiful. It's nice. No, no negative at all. No, oh my God, I can't believe he's doing that. The artwork should be on the other side of the fence. Martin Nelson lives just around the corner. I think it's a, it's a cool piece of artwork, but I just don't think it belongs on a fence in a neighborhood like this. Tree-lined streets, some of the pricier homes in Spokane. But this just brings an urban railway motif to this neighborhood and, and it, it just doesn't fit it doesn't match for some it's just too much in suburbia it's really interesting how this right it sticks out it sticks out tremendously and it is loud now even though they've already put about 30 hours of work in on this fence and even though opinions differ about the fence they still plan to continue the paint around the corner here and paint this side of the fence as well reporting on the south hill mckay allen kxoy4 hd news